town hall meeting. It's called Grappling with Nuclear Power. And with me right now is one of the organizers for this event. Your name, sir? Alexander Dale. Alexander Dale. Alexander Dale, what made you come up with the idea to have this particular uh, town hall meeting? So myself and a bunch of other, say, environmentally minded folks uh, think that nuclear is a pretty big, interesting issue with a lot of people who are very passionate about both sides. There's a lot of people that are very much for nuclear power and expanding it, and a lot of people who are very, very adamantly against it. Um, and we have both of those kind of in our environmental groups. So we thought it would be really interesting to put together an event where people can learn about nuclear power and how it works, um, and hear a lot of really informed issues from both sides of that topic. So we put together uh, four different panelists, uh, some people from the industry, some people from um, who have studied radiation's effects, some people who are uh, working on the smart grid um, to come and talk about what place nuclear might have, if any, uh, in the future of our energy mix. Now, do you find people very, very fearful of nuclear energy, or is it still a toss-up? Uh, I think that a lot of people have um, a, a really dangerous perception of radiation. Um, I think that there are, sometimes that gets overblown in the media. That's my opinion, but uh, I think there's some science to back that up. Uh, and I think that a lot of times people are, have some pretty good reasons for, for worrying about whether nuclear makes sense in the long term. Well, you mentioned radiation. We mostly, for a layman like myself, we come into contact with radiation as a, with an x-ray. Yeah, well, you come into panic. contact with it all the time. There's, there's a lot of radiation around us all the time, whether it's from cosmic rays from the sun or whether it's from just decaying atoms around us. Um, in particularly in Pennsylvania, we have a lot of radon gas in our basements sometimes. So that, that'll have a little bit of a radiation background. Um, and the amount that you get from an x-ray is actually a pretty small piece of that. Um, the natural background radiation level is, uh, say, say, here, and your x-ray is down here. Okay. Um, so it's, it's actually very important to keep in context how much radiation you might get exposed to from various nuclear accidents, like the accident in Japan, um, or things like Three Mile Island, um, in the context of that natural background level. So when they say it's a, a safe amount, Mm -hmm. of radiation that people are exposed to. There's, they, they give us levels mm -hmm. what's considered safe and what's considered catastrophic. How do they determine what is safe? So for radiation, your body will naturally heal some radiation. Um, your body has pretty good safety mechanisms to say, oh, your DNA got damaged here and, and repair that spot. Really? Um, and so it can do that up to a certain point. And, when, and there's a lot of studies on where that point happens. Um, and they'll say, okay, at this point we know there's damage. And they actually um, will go backwards some decent factor from that and say this is the maximum level um, and then they'll go backwards again and say okay that was this is the maximum level for the public and we'll leave that one for nuclear radiation workers it's people who are working in nuclear plants now you seem to be very young and very knowledgeable uh, very quickly what is your background with uh, nuclear energy uh, so i'm a phd student at the university of pittsburgh um, my undergraduate was also at pitt um, and i did a certificate in nuclear engineering while I was there. Um, so that gave me three semesters of background on how nuclear plants work and some of the radiation. Um, and now, what I'm doing now for my PhD is on energy and water resources. So nuclear is a pretty big focus for that as well, because I want to look at this question of does it make sense for different regions. So once you finish your studies, and, uh, what do you plan to go from there? Um, I'd really like to work on policy. What I'm doing for my PhD is looking at quantitative policy analysis, do, attaching numbers to policies that politicians or other folks propose and seeing whether they make sense. Okay, and uh, what I'd like to do is go work for the government, either for like the EPA or the DOE, um, or possibly run for office, but uh, you might have to convince me to do that one, so we'll see how that goes. Well, you're a young man and there's a lot of young people who are now becoming interested in this particular field, and I'm sure you can relate to them, uh, make them feel safe. Yep. And I uh, look forward to the discussion we're going to have today. Oh, so do I. So do I. Thank you. All right, thanks very much.